जय गुरुदेव डियर स्टूडेंट्स चिल्ड्रन यू नो वी हैव स्टार्टेड नाउ चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स फिजिकल एंड केमिकल चेंजेस एंड इन दिस चैप्टर आई हैव टॉट यू अबाउट द फिजिकल चेंजेस डू नॉट प्रोड्यूस न्यू सब्सटांसेस एंड केमिकल चेंजेस ऑलवेज दे वेन दे अकर दे प्रोड्यूस अ न्यू सब्सटांस ओके so uh, on the basis of this uh, category or this characteristic feature we can understand that whether the changes are chemical changes or physical changes okay so in under this we have uh, studied about the differences between physical and chemical changes i have explained you through uh, these two examples with diagrams and after that we have also studied about the examples of chemical change in which i told you that how the rusting of iron uh, taking place and why we call it as a chemical change and also its chemical formula or reaction i have explained you that how this reaction takes place and how the chemical structure of um, that iron changes into rust okay previously iron formula is this one when it combines with oxygen and water they will form iron oxide and means first they re uh, iron react with oxygen and form Uh, iron oxide and after iron oxide is formed it will react with water and it form rust understood now you can see its chemical structure is totally changed so this um, example is coming under the chemical change understood so after that i have told you also that prevention of rusting means how we can prevent this rusting we, this condition will not happen how we can prevent it by applying uh, paint or by covering the surface of iron with the oil or any grease understood any lubricating material so uh, means after coating we can prevent corrosion or rusting so children uh, after this one um, they have shown one activity 6.2 its aim is to show that both moist uh, moisture oxygen are required for rusting means how we can uh, understand that both moisture means water and oxygen are required for rusting Uh, for this we can perform this activity in this activity we need three test tubes like this these are the test tubes three test tube we take and iron nails we uh, want three iron nails we can take and after that distilled water we want moisture free calcium chloride calcium chloride is a kind of salt this we want uh, it is uh, present in our uh, chemistry lab so this uh, salt we want and then tap water also we keep separately and vegetable oil any vegetable oil we can use um, we can take from our kitchen and rubber stoppers these rubber stoppers we also want to cover these um, all the three uh, test tubes okay so uh, what we do its method is take three test tubes and label them as 1 2 and 3 means this test tube we label as 1 this is 2 and this is 3 place a clean shiny iron nail in each test tube 
and uh, in each test tube you put one one nail okay in each test tube we put one nail in test tube one add a small amount of moisture free calcium chloride to take away the moisture of the air so in the first test tube what they have added here they added calcium chloride okay this salt we add and what is the purpose of salt here whatever moisture is present because this um, test tube is having some amount of air and air has a moisture always you know that moisture to remove that moisture we uh, or to absorb that moisture we use calcium chloride okay so this salt we add whatever moisture is present in the air which is present inside this is removed with the help of or absorbed with the help of calcium chloride and after that we put a stopper here and what we do in test tube 2 in test tube 2 pour a little boiled and distilled water and also add a small amount of vegetable oil which will form a layer of the surface of water and keep the air out boiling helps removal of dissolved oxygen from the from water so children in this test tube what we do we use boiled water and boiled water when we boil water you you can see easily bubbles coming out from the boiling water and what that bubbles showing that gases which are dissolved in water carbon dioxide or oxygen they start coming out from the water okay so that's why we use here boiling water and by after putting boiling water in this test tube we add vegetable oil also and what is the use of vegetable oil here as the vegetable oil is added in the test tube it can form a layer of over the surface of water and when layer of uh, oil is there it prevent the entry of any kind of air inside it oxygen in the water so this nail already we have put here and after that we added boiling water and then vegetable oil and after that we put stop stopper here then in the third test tube what we do in a third test tube pour a small amount of tap water submerging the nail partly and in third test tube what we do we use simple tap water cold tap water okay and nail ko hum aadha मर्ज करेंगे इसमें आधा बाहर रखेंगे और आधा इसमें डिप कर देंगे सो व्हाट वी ऑब्जर्व इन ऑल थ्री टेस्ट ट्यूब्स नाउ प्लग द माउथ्स ऑफ ऑल द थ्री टेस्ट ट्यूब्स यूजिंग रबर स्टॉपर्स द रबर स्टॉपर यू कैन यूज साइड बाय साइड एज वी पुट हियर नील एंड कैल्शियम क्लोराइड at that time we use stopper and after putting boiling water and uh, vegetable oil we put stopper and in third test tube we submerge this nail in tap water and then we put stopper now keep the test tubes undisturbed for 4 to 5 days so this experiment needs 4 to 5 days so after 4 to 5 days what we observe you can see this observation the nails in the test tube 1 and 2 have not rusted these two test tube will not show rusting because here we use calcium chloride and it can absorb water content and when water removed from this um, test tube in the absence of water this nail will not show rusting and in this test tube also 
boiling water is there and because of the absence of oxygen as well as there is no entry of uh, any kind of oxygen here so that's why this will also not show any kind of rusting but here both the possibilities are there here we take uh, we have taken cold um, tap water so this water has some oxygen and water we provided here so both water and oxygen are present here so third test tube having nail it shows rusting after 4 to 5 days understood so conclusion is that as test tube 1 and 2 did not have moisture and oxygen respectively the nails in the both the test tubes have not developed rust this proves that both oxygen and water are essential for rusting so from this activity we can understand that both the conditions means both the oxygen as well as water is required for rusting okay if one of the thing is missing so rust will not be formed so after this children they have written here fruit and vegetable enzymatic browning so what is this <clears throat> let's we understand from this paragraph cut a slice of brinjal or an apple and keep it aside for some time you will notice that the piece has turned brown this happens because a chemical change occurs when certain enzymes in the plant material reacts in the presence of oxygen producing brown pigments called melanin also the dark spots on fruits such as banana are caused by the presence of melanin so children uh, you must have seen this condition of fruits and some vegetables especially when we cut brinjal and apple they are having some enzymatic activity and they also turn brown because of the chemical changes okay because some enzymes are present in those uh, fruits and vegetables and when they show reaction when they show chemical change and after the chemical change these enzymes will turn that vegetable or fruit into brown color because they produce a pigment pigment means any uh, color producing chemical is called pigment so here pigment name is uh, pigment name is melanin okay so melanin is produced here and because of the presence of melanin this um, plant, uh, this fruit or vegetable shows brown color and uh, uh, also they have given example of banana means in banana also if we cut banana or if we peel uh, banana after some time you can see it will also change into brown spotty uh, substance so that is also because of the melanin pigment present in them so this is also one of the example of chemical change so children here they have shown uh, activity 6.3 uh, this activity we will study in the next class whatever i have explained to you, you today that is a very small part that you will revise it and try to understand what we have learned today okay in the next class we will study about this activity this activity is also about the chemical change okay a new chemical change i'll uh, explain through this activity so uh, jai gurudev to all of you